Welcome to Trump Wire, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. For 50 years, the skies have been dominated by two giants, Boeing and Airbus. If you've flown commercially, odds are you've flown on one of their planes. Their duopoly has shaped global aviation, from airline business models to the passenger experience. This dominance was built on relentless innovation, massive investment, and global supply chains. Boeing and Airbus, American and European, have pushed each other to new heights, making flying safer and more efficient. But the stability of this duopoly is now under threat. A new challenger is emerging from the East, backed by the full might of China. China's ambition, not just to build planes for itself, but to compete head-to-head -head with Boeing and Airbus worldwide. At the heart of China's aviation push is COMAC, the commercial aircraft corporation of China. This state-owned aerospace giant is the centerpiece of China's dream to become a global leader in commercial aviation, a sector long dominated by Western companies. Founded in 2008, COMAC's mission is to design and build large passenger jets that can rival Boeing and Airbus. The company was established with a clear mandate to break the foreign monopoly on the skies and create a homegrown alternative for China's rapidly growing air travel market. This is a matter of national pride and a key part of China's strategy to lead in high-tech industries. For the Chinese government, success in aviation is about more than just business, it's about technological independence and global influence. COMAC started small, first with the ARJ-21 regional jet, a modest but important step that allowed Chinese engineers to gain valuable experience in aircraft design, certification, and production. Then came the C919, a direct competitor to the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. The C919 project marked a significant leap forward, showcasing China's determination to challenge the world's aviation giants with a modern, efficient single-aisle jet. With over a thousand orders, mostly from Chinese airlines, the C919 is already reshaping the domestic market. These orders not only demonstrate strong local support, but also provide COMAC with the scale and feedback needed to improve its aircraft and operations. Now COMAC is taking on the wide-body market with the C929, aiming to challenge the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. This ambitious project, developed in partnership with Russia, signals China's intent to compete in the lucrative long-haul segment. China's vast domestic market gives COMAC a huge advantage, a guaranteed customer base to refine its planes before going global. With hundreds of millions of passengers flying each year, COMAC can test, improve, and scale its aircraft in ways few other manufacturers can. Even Airbus's CEO admits, the era of the duopoly may be ending, and a new triopoly could be on the horizon. As COMAC continues to innovate and expand, the global aviation landscape is set for a dramatic transformation. The C929 is COMAC's boldest move yet a wide-body jet designed for long-haul routes that stretch across continents and oceans. This ambitious project signals China's determination to become a major player in the global aviation industry, challenging the dominance of established Western manufacturers. With a spacious cabin capable of seating up to 320 passengers, the C929 is tailored for comfort on journeys that can last over 12 hours, offering airlines a new option for high-capacity, long-distance travel. It's built to compete directly with the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350, the workhorses of intercontinental travel that have set the standard for efficiency, passenger experience, and advanced technology in the skies. The C929 aims to match Western rivals in fuel efficiency and advanced materials using lightweight composites to cut weight and operating costs. These innovations are crucial for airlines seeking to reduce emissions and maximize profitability in a competitive market. But its development is shaped by geopolitics as much as engineering. International tensions and shifting alliances have forced COMAC to adapt its strategy, navigating a complex landscape of technology access and global partnerships. Originally a joint venture with Russia, COMAC now leads the project alone, rethinking its supply chain for engines and avionics to ensure the program's survival and future growth. COMAC is pursuing both Western engines, like Rolls-Royce's Trent 7000, to meet international certification standards and appeal to global airlines, 
while simultaneously developing its own CJ2000 turbofan to ensure self-reliance and reduce vulnerability to foreign technology restrictions. This dual approach is a hedge against trade restrictions and a step toward technological independence, reflecting China's broader ambitions to control its own destiny in high-tech industries. The C929 is more than a plane, it's a test of China's ability to build a world-class aerospace ecosystem and a symbol of its aspirations to soar alongside the world's aviation giants. With US-China tensions rising, COMAC is pivoting toward Europe for technology and market access. European suppliers like Safran, Thales and Liebherr are now key partners, providing critical systems for the C929. Rolls-Royce engines are a top alternative to American power plants. And this strategy not only diversifies COMAC's supply chain, but also gives European nations a stake in its success. The real prize is ESA certification, the gold standard for global airworthiness. With FAA approval unlikely, COMAC is investing heavily to meet ESA's rigorous standards. ESA certification would open doors to markets worldwide, far beyond China's borders. For COMAC, Europe is the gateway to global legitimacy. The C929's development is unfolding under the shadow of the US-China trade war. US export controls threaten COMAC's access to critical American-made components, making supply chain security a top priority. Tariffs and political tensions have forced China to accelerate its push for self-sufficiency in aviation technology. The C919's reliance on dozens of US and European suppliers is a vulnerability the C929 aims to fix. Occasional easing, like resumed GE engine shipments, is overshadowed by ongoing uncertainty. Allegations of economic espionage and intellectual property theft have deepened mistrust and made collaboration harder. For China, the C929 is not just a commercial project, it's a strategic necessity to insulate its aviation industry from US pressure. Every component and partnership is now viewed through a lens of national security. For the C929 to succeed globally, it must earn international trust through rigorous safety certification. Without ESA or FAA approval, its market is limited to China and a few allies. Certification is a marathon, thousands of flight tests, inspections, and documentation to prove safety and reliability. COMAC's focus is on ESA, seen as more politically neutral than the FAA. ESA certification would unlock not just Europe, but many other markets that follow its lead. However, European regulators will scrutinize every detail, and experts believe COMAC is still years away from meeting these standards. The journey to certification is a true test of China's technical maturity and transparency. Only with global approval can the C929 become more than a domestic contender. Alongside global ambitions, China is racing to build a fully domestic aerospace ecosystem. The goal, a C929 made entirely in China, immune to foreign sanctions and trade disputes. This means developing homegrown engines, avionics, and every critical system, a monumental challenge. China is investing billions in the CJ2000 engine, aiming to match Western performance and reliability. Building a robust maintenance and training infrastructure is just as vital for long-term success. Some analysts predict a US-free C929 could be ready for China's market by the early 2030s. This effort shows China's determination to break the Western grip on aviation technology. The C929's future depends as much on this self-sufficiency as on international acceptance. The C929's arrival is met with both interest and skepticism from airlines worldwide, Airlines want more competition to break the Boeing Airbus duopoly and lower costs. COMAC's biggest selling point is price, potentially 10-20% cheaper than rivals, thanks to China's scale and subsidies. This appeals to price-sensitive carriers in developing markets, especially those with close ties to Beijing. But skepticism remains. Airlines worry about reliability, maintenance, and resale value, where Boeing and Airbus have decades of data. Certification and geopolitics are major hurdles. Without ESA approval, most airlines won't even consider the C929. Trust issues, fueled by political tensions and IP concerns, make Western engagement cautious. COMAC must prove it can be a reliable, transparent partner to win over a conservative industry. The C929 is more than a new airplane, it's a symbol of shifting global power and ambition. 
For decades, the skies have been dominated by just two giants, Boeing and Airbus. Now, China's Comac is stepping onto the world stage, determined to challenge this long-standing duopoly and carve out a place for itself among the industry's elite. If China succeeds, the aviation world could move from a duopoly to a triopoly, reshaping competition and lowering costs for travelers. Airlines would have more choices, potentially leading to better deals, improved service, and new routes. The ripple effects could be felt by passengers, manufacturers, and economies around the globe. It would validate China's state-led industrial model and inspire similar efforts worldwide. Other emerging economies might see COMAX rise as proof that they too can compete in high-tech industries once thought out of reach. But the path is steep. Certification, global support networks, and industry trust are huge challenges. Gaining international safety approvals, building a reputation for reliability, and establishing maintenance hubs across continents are hurdles that take years, if not decades, to overcome. Failure could confine the C929 to China's market, but even its attempt is changing the industry. The very act of trying is forcing established players to innovate, rethink strategies, and pay closer attention to emerging competitors. Boeing and Airbus are watching closely, forced to adapt to a new competitor. Their responses, whether through new technologies, partnerships, or pricing, will shape the future of commercial aviation. The C929's journey will define the next chapter in aviation. Whether it soars or stalls, it's already redrawing the map. Its progress will be watched not just by industry insiders, but by governments, investors, and travelers worldwide. As the story unfolds, we're witnessing a bold attempt to reshape the future of global aviation. The outcome remains uncertain, but one thing is clear. The age of the triopoly may be just beginning, and the world is watching every move.